not only should we acknowledge this country, but also the, 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 the people of Japan, but also the people of Maralinga. Because they too, their lands continue to suffer from the bombings in my lifetime. In my lifetime. And so it seems to us today that our leaders have not yet learned the lesson or cannot help us to find peace in our world. And so it's left up to us. We the people, we the people need to bring peace to our world and to our country. Today I hold in my hands here a piece of the soil from whose lands we gather on today, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. I want to acknowledge the wisdom, the knowledge and expertise of the Gadigal ancestors in their custodianship of these lands that we now call Sydney, or our home. I acknowledge and recognise their ancestors whose wisdom have cared for this land for millennia. And through this soil, I recognise and acknowledge the families and children of the Gadigal clans who lived and celebrated and communed together on these lands. I want to also acknowledge and recognise all the blood that was shed on these lands, either in innocence or in violence. I want to acknowledge and recognise the elders who have come recently, who have toiled and died on these lands and left us a legacy that all people can enjoy the benefits of their labour on this soil today, if only we can find peace together. I acknowledge the responsibility I have in stewarding and caring for these lands. This responsibility now rests upon my shoulders. And my responsibility is to care for the land and soil upon which I now live so that our children's children can celebrate and enjoy the fruits of the soil so that they too can live a healthy, prosperous and happy life on the land and soil of the Gadigal people. I also acknowledge and recognise our collective responsibility that we all have to care for all the lands and soils that we have the honour to be birthed upon, to live upon and to work upon. So today, let us affirm our connection to the lands we now live and work upon. Let us also acknowledge our elders who have worked on these lands for our benefits. And let us pledge that we too will steward the land according to the wisdom, knowledge and expertise that we now possess. So that we can pass on to our children's children the best that our land can provide for them and their children's children. Let us also undertake together the important task to take care for our Mother Earth so that our future generations are not robbed or deprived of their rightful inheritance that is our responsibility to pass on to them so that they can enjoy the same entitlements and benefits that we have enjoyed on these lands that we now call our home. This has been and always will be Aboriginal land. Thank you.